okay so this is the situation a is going with a velocity of 100 root 3 meter per second at 30 degree and a is at some height b is also at some other height the distance between them is 500 meter and the velocity of b is at 60 degree with respect to the horizontal so now what a is observing the a is observing that uh, B is coming directly to him because A just escapes being hit by B. So almost you know it's in this direction only and at the same time it is moving with a constant velocity perpendicular to the line of the motion of A. So therefore we can see that velocity of B with respect to A is perpendicular to velocity of velocity of a sorry okay so kuch aisa hai okay so velocity so if this is 30 degree this is going to be 60 degree and therefore this is also going to be 60 degree so therefore velocity of b with respect to a is going to be in such a manner okay where the net velocity is going to be 60 degree okay so now we should write velocity of b with respect to a this is going to be velocity of b minus velocity of a which is v cos 60 i cap plus v sin 60 j cap minus velocity of a 100 root 3 cos 30 degree which is root 3 by 2 a cap plus 100 root 3 to sin 30 degree 1 by 2 j cap so this is going to be v by 2 minus this is goes as 50 minus 150 i cap plus v root 3 by 2 minus 50 root 3 j cap okay so therefore now uh, we can see in you know so the velocity of b with respect to, to a okay so what a is observing b is coming in this direction okay so in so this is i cap so this is going to be in minus i cap it's going to be 150 minus v by 2 and in this direction it is going to be v root 3 by 2 minus 50 root 3 so it's going to be 60 degree so therefore tan 60 degree is going to be root 3 which is equal to v root 3 by 2 minus 50 root 3 divided by 150 minus v by 2 so root 3 root 3 is gone so 150 minus v by 2 is equal to v by 2 minus 50 so therefore v becomes 200 meter per second so therefore the velocity of b is 200 meter per second and velocity of b with respect to a is velocity of b with respect to a is so this is uh, um, you know so this is minus 50 i cap plus so 100 root 3 minus, so this is 50 root 3 j cap okay so now if we see that so some so it's going to be something like this in this direction it's 50 and in this direction it is 50 root 3 so therefore in this direction you know the resultant is going to be root over 50 square plus 50 root 3 whole square which is equal to 50 into 2 which is 100 meter per second okay so therefore b is being you know b is approaching a with a speed of 100 meter per second and the distance initial is 500 meter so therefore the time t naught is going to be 500 meter divided by 100 meter per second which is 
five seconds so therefore five seconds is the answer okay so again i will explain how we started with so we started with uh, simple um we took a okay and we took b at uh, and these both are at some height here okay now b is going in some direction a is also going in some direction but the velocity of b with respect to a as it is mentioned it is perpendicular to the line of the motion of a so therefore what we do is we as we what we did was we assume some velocity and then we calculated velocity of b with respect to a this entire thing we calculated and this comes out to be this now since it is mentioned that it is perpendicular so we know the direction of it okay so 60 degree now 60 degree is v y divided by minus v of x so therefore we have put a negative sign over here okay velocity comes out of v uh, is 200 the velocity of b with respect to a in this direction it comes out to be 100 meter per second so therefore since it is at 500 meter so 500 divided by 100 is going to be 